My name is Keith Benson. I'm a uh, physician assistant with USACS. Here today to talk to you about arthrocentesis. Um, arthrocentesis uh, is a procedure where fluid is removed from any joint uh, in the body. It's typically major joints such as ankles, um, knees. They do hips, but hips is typically done with IR just because it's a very deep joint space or shoulders. Uh, today we'll concentrate on arthrocentesis of the knee. Uh, primary indications for arthrocentesis um, are split into two categories. There's diagnostic indicators, including monoarticular arthritis, septic arthritis, or joint effusion. There are also therapeutic uh, indications, including um, aspiration of an effusion or uh, a hemarthrosis. There is also um, infusion of medications themselves. So there, there are no absolute contraindications to arthrocentesis. There are several relative contraindications, including a cellulitis overlying the um, spot where you want to break the skin, uh, bacteremia, osteomyelitis, coagulopathy, or a joint prosthesis. But again, these are only relative contraindications. Uh, procedure for uh, arthrocentesis um, is, very, is variable. There, the basics of what you want to do is avoid the, the ligaments and tendons. Um, you want to uh, avoid nerves and veins as well. So the easiest way to do that is through puncturing the skin at one of four corners of the knee. You can go uh, superior lateral, superior medial, inframedial, or infralateral to the knee. You want to avoid true superior, true inferior because of the uh, patellar tendon and the um, quadriceps tendon above. Um, step over and show you the procedure now. As far as the procedure itself, um, it is a sterile procedure and you should be wearing sterile gloves. The um, skin prep is that of aseptic technique as well, uh, chlorhexidine or betadine, uh, depending on your preference. Uh, my preference for the first spot uh, to go for arthrocentesis is in the superior lateral aspect. The easiest way to uh, identify your landmarks is I like to put my index finger and my thumb on the patella itself so that I can stabilize it and actually create a little bit of pressure opening up the joint space. The other um, technique for opening up the joint space is to put a towel roll under the knee creating 10 to 15 degrees of flexion. That will open up the joint space as well, uh, allowing for easier access to the, uh, to the bursa. Uh, the first step is to actually uh, anesthetize the, uh, the skin overlying the puncture area. So cleanse with chlorhexidine, drape sterily, sterile gloves, um, and then administration of local anesthetic. The, the key to anesthetizing is you just want skin and shallow tissue uh, anesthesia. You don't want deep anesthesia uh, for fear of actually violating the joint capsule and uh, violating the results of the, um, of the synovial fluid that you're attempting uh, to gain for analysis. So first, a uh, little bit of tension. You're going to uh, inject a small wheel and then deep right along the path. Uh, anesthesia is done and now we're ready for the actual procedure. Uh, 18 gauge um, is ideal just because the fluid itself can be very thick. Uh, empty syringe if you're expecting a large uh, effusion, large amount of fluid, you can use a syringe with a uh, volume uh, much larger than 10 cc's. You can go up to uh, whatever you're comfortable with. 60 cc's would, would, be, would work as well. Uh, at this point where you injected the anesthesia, you're going to inject, your aim is for the underside of the patella into the joint capsule itself. Um, and then you're going to put traction back on the, uh, on the plunger of the syringe and you should get fluid. At this point, if you're drawing for uh, analysis only, you can take five to 10 cc's. If, you're, uh, if it's a therapeutic arthrocentesis, you want to try and drain all of the fluid as that will provide most comfort for the patient. So in conclusion, uh, for arthrocentesis, there are several indications uh, that can be divided into diagnostic or therapeutic indications for arthrocentesis. The diagnostic indications are for uh, septic arthritis, monoarthritis, um, or to identify uh, crystals in a joint effusion. The um, 
therapeutic uh, indications for arthrocentesis are essentially to remove fluid uh, for a joint effusion, for hemarthrosis, or even a septic arthrosis will make the patient more comfortable. Um, the procedure itself, relatively easy. You can enter the joint space of the knee on either of the four corners of the patella, but avoid the patellar tendon and the quadriceps tendon. And uh, review of the anatomy is definitely in your best interest. The other two spaces to avoid are the extreme lateral or medial. So it's essentially the four corners. Um, stair is an aseptic technique, so make sure that you clean uh, the surface and use a drape, sterile gloves, and then local anesthesia. Remember not to go too deep because you don't want to alter the analysis of the synovial fluid in the joint. Um, and then depending on what your uh, desired outcome is, you can either remove a small amount of fluid for analysis or you can take off large volume uh, for patient comfort. Thank you.